how to get CCNA certified in 2018. Lab every day, fam. What's good, YouTube? I'm Dewan. How to get CCNA certified in 2018. I've been in your shoes, and at the time I was going through it, I didn't have too many options. In this video, I'm gonna give you 10 steps on how you can become CCNA certified. Now these ain't gonna be no amateur steps. This is gonna be a complete layout that you can go step by step through to prepare you for the exam. I'm gonna give you video references. I'm gonna give you book references. I'm gonna give you a community that can definitely help you achieve your CCNA. If you're wondering about the shirt, I live every day. But we'll talk more about that later. Let's get to it. I got my CCNA back in, what, 2015. It's a great certification. It's really helped me throughout my career. And I went on to achieve my CCNP. Once you dive into Cisco, I believe that you will really enjoy it. It's, it's fun, it's challenging, it's a journey that you are definitely gonna have to embrace. Now, with that being said, one of the first things that I suggest and I'll have a link to everything that I mentioned in this video, either here or somewhere in the description. Now, number one, the first thing that I suggest anybody do whenever they're going after a Cisco certification, whether it be in the route switch area, security, wireless, CCMP level, CCIE level, is head over to the Cisco Learning Network and print out the exam topics for the exam that you are going to be focusing on. I highly recommend doing this. Number two on the list is to join the Cisco Learning Network. It's a great community. Every Cisco certification area has a community of individuals that are working to achieve the same certification as you or they have already achieved the certification. While you're there, look up Matt Saunders. He actually did a tutorial. He works with Cisco and he actually did a walkthrough on my channel. I have a link in the description where he covers basically everything in the Cisco Learning Network. Great community, check it out. And feel free to look me up while you're on the Cisco Learning Network. Number three, and I'm gonna break this up into number three and four. I'm gonna to have to say, for me, it's books. For you, it could be videos. But either way, number three on the list is books. Now, there are several books written for the CCNA Route Switch, CCNA Security. Um, CCNA Wireless, but always what I buy is the Cisco Certified OCG books, the Official Cert Guide books, because they're written by some great people in that field. Like right now, I'm working on my CCNA Security, and it's written by Omar Santos. Now, there are other books by Ty Lamley, which are you, if you are entry level, the way Ty Lamley's book is written is written in a way that Basically, anybody can understand it. Everyone that I've pretty much recommended the book to, they have been able to soak up the information. Now, do not let these be the only tools that you use. There are also lab books, I suggest those. And I'll have a link to my Amazon page where I talk about everything that I'm mentioning in this video. Number four on the list is gonna be training videos. There are several platforms like my channel, feel free to subscribe <laughs> that you can go to learn this Cisco CCNA, CCMP, CCIE level information. One of my favorites has always been CBT Nuggets. Now, I'm not plugging CBT Nuggets at all, but I the way CBT Nuggets platform um, was designed, it worked well for me. It was a very clean platform and you just have to check it out. They do a seven day um, trial, feel free to check it out. You got another one that's I&E. Um, I like I&E also. You have David Bumble here on YouTube. There are several other platforms that you can utilize for video. Not just YouTube, not just I&E, but CBT Nuggets. There are so many out there. Another one that I have to mention is gonna be Safari Books Online. Now, Safari Books Online is digital media. So if you are a person that has a Kindle or you like PDFs, Safari Books will supply that for you. But not only that, Safari Books offers video on their platform also. So for me, I would say of everything right now, what I utilize besides buying books is gonna be Safari Books because a lot of times you will have um, the same videos on other platforms on Safari Books right there. 
and it's 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 amazing. It's every cert guide for everything you want to learn is on Safari Books. That's not a plug. This is no affiliate or anything. I just really like Safari Books. Number five on the list, and now this could be five and six, but we're just going to keep it number five. Software for learning. It could be Packet Tracer. It could be G GNS3. It could be Boston um, Sims. There, you're going to need some type of simulator emulator to learn Cisco networking. Period. You can't just read a book. You can't just watch videos. You have to have some type of experience. Now, Packet Tracer is a simulator, so it's not actual Cisco iOS software. But to get your CSENT, if you're working on your CSENT ICND1, Packet Tracer will work wonders. Now for that CCNA ICND2 level certification, you're gonna need something more robust than just Packet Tracer. For one, you're gonna really have to understand switching and Packet Tracer does not simulate switching the way Cisco iOS does it with the ASIC switch switching. And then also there's several other areas where Packet Tracer just will not get the job done. It will help you get an understanding, but you need to dive deeper. deeper. GNS3 can help you do that. Check out David Bombo. He'll show you how to get all set up and do everything virtualized on your computer. And then you also have labs on the Cisco Learning Network. They have viral and Cisco Learning Network has their own software that they offer. And I'll do a video tutorial on that because I have a great package that Matt hooked me up with. I'll have a link to all that in the description. So we covered Packet Tracer, we covered GNS3, we covered viral Cisco Learning Network. That's all software based. Now the thing that everybody loves the most is hardware. I love hardware, pause. <laughs> but yeah, I love routers, switches, ASAs, physical networks, I love it. But you have to understand virtualization is huge. A lot of what we do today will be in the cloud. So getting a hardware lab can be expensive. It not only can be expensive to buy the hardware, but to maintain the hardware, you know, your power, all everything that goes into that it can call it can really start costing so what I say use what you have ask those around you if they have old hardware if you're already in the field ask people at work check Craigslist use safety when you're using Craigslist check um, Amazon eBay all that good stuff if you want to get a hard, um, hardware lab I have some great devices in my um, Amazon marketplace check it out if you guys have any questions let me know but you can do everything on software to get your CCNA. Plenty of people do it all the, way, all the time. And if you got any more questions about that, hit the comment section below. If you have a hardware lab, I want to hear about it. Tweet me pictures on Twitter, hashtag lab every day. And then also the Cisco Learning Network. There's plenty of people on there that can help you build your labs. Number six on the list is going to be lab. Once you start watching those videos, once you start studying those books, you're going to have to lab. You are going to have to lab every day. There's no way around it. You can't just pick the book up on Monday, watch a video on Tuesday, lab on Friday, and then maybe do some quiz questions the next week. No. <laughs> not only are you doing yourself a disservice for not dedicating yourself to the CCNA, but when it's time to get in that interview, when it's time to be on the job, you're going to have to be able to apply the knowledge that you are learning. Learning is continual, something that's gonna to have to be lifelong. You're gonna to have to embrace it, but you don't really learn until you actually apply it. So what I'm telling you is that once you dive into those books and those videos, get you a, a, a schedule, plan it out, and lab consistently. If it's every day, every other day, however you wanna do it, but be consistent with your labbing. And then also be consistent with your learning. If you don't lab one day, carry your note cards with you. If you don't want to do your note cards, read a book. If you can't do that, save some videos on your phone and watch those videos. But make this an everyday process in order to achieve that CCNA, and it will be a lot easier on you. I understand life happens. It happens to everyone. But do your best to stay on track. And if you need motivation, holla at me, <laughs> you know, and I'll do my best to help you out. Number seven is going to be note card study questions. If you get the, the official cert guide book, I believe it's by Wendell Odom, or the CCNA Complete Study Guide book by 
Tom Lindley. Both of those have exam questions. I have a video that shows you how I break down certification books and then my complete process. But once you get your, you start going through your books or you're watching your videos, most of those come with study questions. Make note cards of those questions. And then from that, study those, learn them. Not just the memorization, but for a complete understanding to where you can relay that information back to someone else and it makes sense. Not just say, what's the administrative distance of EIA GRP? And you say 90 and 170. Well, why is it 90 and 170? Well, okay, for internal networks, it's gonna be 90. But if you redistribute routes, it's gonna be set 170, so that way the internal routes will always be selected when you're dealing with EIGRP. Break it down like that so you really have an understanding. Do your best, be consistent in that also, along with your labbing, along with your reading, along with your videos. As you can see, this is really building. That's why I lab every day, because it's easy to learn today and forget what you learned yesterday if you're not consistent. Number eight on the list is we're gonna have to go back over to the Cisco Learning Network. A lot of times when people get in the CCNA testing environment that's never took a Cisco certification, it's like walking into boot camp for the first time and you have no idea what you're getting yourself into. The Cisco Learning Network walks you through the exam because the exam is just not multiple choice. It's just not labs. You have to really have a understanding of what you're walking into and then it will be less shocking once you take the test because trust me the test is going to be a monster of a tax if you're unprepared but if you are prepared you can do it i believe in you number nine on the list schedule the ccna exam with pearson view my recommendation is to schedule the cisco certification exam that you choose about three weeks out. So that way, when you're up into that last week, you'll have an idea if you're really prepared. So about three weeks out, you can start preparing, preparing, preparing. Okay, am I really ready? Because I believe up until like 24 hours or 48 hours, if you reschedule your exam, you will lose your money that you invested into that exam. So make sure that you schedule yourself enough time to know that you're prepared and prepare, take it serious. Once you get that date set, it may trigger something in your mind to have a sense of urgency to accomplish the task, but you can do it. Number 10 on the list is gonna be review everything that you've learned, including the exam topics to be sure you didn't miss anything, and finally believe in yourself. Once you know that you've done everything you need to do to be successful, go in there and knock that exam out the box. You can achieve that goal, trust me. Once you achieve it, it will be one of the best feelings in the world. I hope you found this list to be helpful. If you all got any questions, hit the comment section below. Like this video, share it out with your friends, and if you have not already, subscribe to my channel. I wish you much success on that certification exam in your career and on your journey. Thanks for viewing. Peace.